So just before I go to Sarabjit Kaur, yeah. it's two four four six. Uh, depending on the, the reaction, revenue, the dollar yeah. revenue. Two four four six. Yeah. So that's that's okay. About two percent or yeah. so. Where are we? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In, in or about, yeah. yeah. But, but let, yeah. let's just wait for the uh, exact numbers still to come out. Meanwhile, Sarabjit Kaur Nagra is with us as well. And Sarabjit, uh, uh, your initial thoughts on this and how would it, if at all, change your ranking of Infosys? Uh, see, I, if I'm not wrong, I got the dollar number as 24. 2446. 2446. Four, right? Yes. That's that's slightly uh, lower than our expectation in uh, dollar terms. In terms of rupee and margin, uh, I think broadly it's uh, in line. But I guess net profit at around three five, right? Three five plus. Uh, it's it's marginally lower. So broadly, if I have to put it in uh, perspective, I think so. Without going too much into detail details as to what what has happened uh, within the numbers, I guess so. Um, uh, I guess it's a. Just about decent set of numbers, actually. And are, waiting, yeah. are waiting for their FY17 forward-looking commentary. What we are discussing is Q4. That's rear-view driving. You have to look forward and understand what is in store for them for FY17. Yeah, frankly, that's the number which matters. Which I was on leave today. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, but while we wait for that, I think Urmil Shah of IDBI is also with us. Let's just quickly get his initial thoughts as well. Uh, while we wait for those uh, guidance numbers, Urmil, your initial thoughts on these numbers? Uh, so the revenue growth uh, has come a tag below than what we were expecting. Uh, we were expecting a US dollar revenue growth of uh, 2462 million dollars. Uh, so that's a tag below. Uh, but uh, the margins have come uh, uh, ahead of our expectation. We were expecting a uh, flattish uh, margins QOQ. Uh, so uh, that's how it is. Uh, it's, it's, uh, the margins are better than what we had expected. Uh, the revenue is slightly lower. So we need to see as to uh, what has driven uh, uh, you know, the revenue uh, coming slightly lower. If the dollar revenue is out, that stands about 2446 in terms of dollar revenues, does that match up to your performance or would you say this is at best in line? Trip, the question is to you on the dollar revenues. Does this match up to your expectation? Yes, it does. Okay, let me just quickly bring on both Sunita Nagpal as well from our research desk and just try and, you know, collaborate all the numbers and talk about those. Sunita, just walk us through what are the numbers that you're picking up. We have the dollar revenue, but anything on the guidance? So as far as the dollar revenue is concerned, uh, it's 2446 tad below our expectation. We were expecting uh, slightly better, our 2% plus uh, growth in uh, dollar terms, but they have done 1.6%. So we'll have to see whether the pricing pressure or the volume growth has been below expectations in this case. As far as other reported numbers, whether the margin picture or the net profit, it's uh, both of them are slightly above expectation or more or less in line with expectations. Margin at 25.5% with the uh, considering that they had given a warning that H2 uh, margins will be below H1 margins. Uh, this is uh, not a bad number, 25.5%. Uh, and this is the exit rate there, uh, uh, exiting FY16. So FY17 is something that we need to watch out what the guidance will be. We are still awaiting the revenue guidance as well as the margin commentary uh, from uh, Infosys. And the, that is the most important thing that everybody would be waiting. And that's uh, what is going to drive the stock from here on. Right, Sunita. Uh... Thank you for that update and we would like, you know, you may want to just come in back the minute the fine print is out, we get a sense on the FI17, uh, uh, you know, guidance, so to speak. Now, based on these numbers, if uh, Deepak, you know, if I have to judge the numbers, Monday morning, it could be a flat start with a downward bias for emphasis because, you know, there is no, there is no wow factor in these numbers. Uh, actually, I don't think we've got the wow factor yet. It's all going to be in the guidance and what they're talking about. So, uh, uh, Prima Fasi, the numbers are okay. I don't think they're uh, necessarily bad. I'm just, uh, you know, I always hope that Infosys pulls out something fantastic. This time, uh, they've done okay on the on the profit numbers, about 16% uh, uh, year-on-year growth. The rupee itself has depreciated, what, 61 to 63 was the range in the March quarter last year. So this time it's 66 to 69. So about 7, 8 or 9% is primarily from rupee depreciation. So the real growth is largely in uh, the you know sub five sub seven percent range that's not very impressive from a uh, 
uh, company growth perspective they have been aided by the rupee depreciation i want to see commentary before uh, i say this is not an impressive result or that this is impressive mm. Dipin, what is your sense? Up until now, it's an inline set. Do you think the stock would be disappointed on Monday? So I completely agree with the perspective, with the point of view that it's all about what they say and not what the numbers are hmm. for four Q are saying. Because four Q is so was baked in. Four Q is more or less along expected lines. Uh, um, sorry, guys, I have yes. some numbers. FY seventeen revenue guidance is at eleven point five to thirteen point five in constant currency, eleven point eight to thirteen point eight in US dollar terms. That's good. Yeah, that's strong. And that's a half strong. to thirteen and a half. Now it's that fifty bips. No, but that fifty bips is not on a hundred crore base. Yes, yes, of that course. That fifty bips is <laughs> on a seventeen, eighteen thousand yeah, crore yeah, quarterly yeah, base. So these are good numbers. Plus, uh, He's seeing a fat pie. Yeah. Number yes, one. Number two, the they exited FI 16 on the upper end of the guidance. And if they exit FI 17 on the upper end of the guidance, this will force this is, this is everyone to change numbers. Yeah. These yeah, are numbers. A, no, I was just saying, let's just stick to this revenue guidance on the screen as well, because I think this is the most important number. Let's not go with anything else so that viewers oh, have an idea of what this is. Actually, yeah, the dollar terms is 11.8 yeah. to 13.8, and rupee is 11.5 to 13.5. Trip Chaudhary, come in on this guidance that Infosys has given. I think the guidance is very good. I think it uh, it is uh, above what we were expecting. Uh, I think uh, we still have to be very careful because the current quarter is fine. The guidance is good, but can, is it durable? Can we? How does the next six months, eight months look like? So I think currently everything looks good. Inline quarter guidance strong. I think the stock goes up. Uh, Prima facie. 13.8 in dollar means that they would be on course to do something like 69 to about 70 rupees of EPS. Uh, uh, well, we've so far baked in about 68 rupees, and I would be very surprised if uh, we wouldn't be upgrading this to close to 70 at least. So 70 means Infosys currently is trading at about uh, 15, 16 times. 16 times, yeah. 16 times for a company which is growing at 14 percent, which is about a good 15, 17 percent higher than the industry average. I think is great news. So the headline, if you ask me, the headline is that Infosys now is officially growing at a run rate which is higher than the industry average. That's the headline for me. Absolutely, it's When growing Infos faster than the, the Nifty. It's average. growing faster than the industry average. It's got a big weight in the Nifty. It's the bellwether now for investing in India. So this is the new Infosys, a company which was, was not growing at the industry run rate is now growing at a run rate much higher than the industry average. I yeah. was. Uh, Drumming the table now, I will begin the thumping. <laughs> okay. I think we have a quote plate as well coming mm -hmm. in from Vishal Sikka, and let's just read out what the management commentary is like, you know. And Vishal Sikka is saying that he's proud of the company's achievements in the first fiscal year as CEO of Infosys. He says at the same time, humbled by the task that is still in front of us, we started the year just two quarters into a strategy to completely reimagine the notion of services and to transform Infosys. Over the course of this year, we saw the strategy of bringing on. automation and innovation to our clients on a foundation of learning and education start to show results in the organic growth of our client relationships um he's saying in our win rates in large deals and in types of projects we are seeing in strategic areas where we never participated before he's saying i'm proud of what our teams have achieved this quarter and in the year ahead uh there's also a comment coming in um I think from Vishal Sikka himself, and he's saying, and yet despite these heartening results, they are still based on metrics of the past, of the way the industry has been. The world of our future looks entirely different. It is a world that is being fundamentally reshaped by digital technologies, and it is our endeavor to create great value for every business through solutions built on our artificial intelligence technology and open cloud platforms to have infusions uh, amplified by intelligent technology. to bring purposeful innovation to life it's in a long that quote so yeah, it's a really long quote it's a long quote it's a very <laughs> proud guy out there yes. um talking about it and ai it seems like that's their ticket to the next you know, hall of fame i've, I've is, never heard yeah. such a profound commentary from any ceo it's long it's crisp it's talking about what they've achieved in the past how they've achieved in the past and where they would go in the future i don't remember last time when very confident sounding confident you know, i don't remember last time when a uh, top ceo used words like artificial intelligence when was the last time they used automation freely when was the last time they were using word like cloud platform they were using digital is a common word which everybody is using yeah. but the but the 
but the technical terminology which has been used in the current uh, commentary from Vishal Sikha that just tells you that someone has rebooted the button. It's no longer this bread and butter IT company which yes. used to just do client services. Yeah. It's a reboot which has happened. And I, I think, uh, sorry, the, uh, yes. depend, no, my, my simple point is this that it, it once again is a company which tends to in a way under promise and over deliver. So you would expect them to do much better than this 13 and a half yes. constant currency yes. on this base, which is I think a key as well. Just before we get in Deepak Shinoi's initial thoughts, depends, sorry, you wanted to add. What to was this. wrong with Infosys? They were lagging. Leadership, yeah. vision, delivery, transformation. Hmm. Everything is falling into place. All the levers are firing. This is the last, so, so like I said, the, the chartists would have said the outperformance is over and done with. And this is what fundamentals can do for you. Deepak Shinoi, I, 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 I can, I'm now Sorry. going to not just thump the table, but I'm going to bet on a classic breakout over the coming year. There is no inorganic growth uh, which they're factoring in, are they? Because and they're, they're going to be sitting on what, 30, 35,000 crores of no, cash? No, I mean, my only limited point is that they've yeah. also been buying. I mean, I hope the constant currency growth is not a function of the inorganic uptake they will get. I mean, they've been buyers in the market. They've been so even acquiring strategic. Is, so, so look at it this way, Nikunji, even if it is... They're not like Tata Steel, right? In yeah. terms of their acquisitions. They can be forgiven for something taking a little longer to take off than, than what they might have anticipated. Look at the option value embedded in that cash. And if you're cribbing that they've been sitting on this cash for so long, look at the higher dividend payouts and look at the extreme conservatism and, and not going overboard and firing just because mm -hmm. you've got bullets in the gun. You know, I have one... One uh, sort of uh, you know red line here, and Deepak Shinoi, you may want to come in on this one because if I look at the financial services vertical, the bread and butter butter vertical for most of the Indian IT companies, that vertical is not firing full cylinders at least for emphasis. Yeah, it seems uh, at least now that I see the the INR numbers, they are at thirty two percent, which is thirty two point eight percent, about fifty basis points lower than they were uh, a year back. So. Uh, apparently that is coming down. This is also an issue that we see in the US as well, where the financial services firms themselves are underperforming a, the broad market in the stock market and their revenue growth and their uh, earnings growth has reduced substantially. We've seen large banks complain about the fact that there's not much money to be made. And, uh, you know, in the age of negative interest rates in Europe and Japan, financial services are only going to suffer because this is not an age where they can make a lot of uh, margin. So, the amount of revenue that will flow to Infosys from the sector will be substantially lower. Uh, they're not, I, I think their biggest growth is in uh, life sciences and retail, uh, where they seem to be uh, using their data analytics platforms or, or whatever they've got as uh, internal product platforms to better effect. So that sounds like an interesting play. But the financial services, as you said, the mainstay of the company for a long time may reduce in uh, significance for the company going forward. Okay. So, uh, Trip Chaudhary, the summation, I think we'll have the press conference beginning in about seven or eight minutes. Uh, but uh, before we let you go, your final thought. Okay, I think Trip Chaudhary has gone. But Urmil, come in as well. Uh, how? What was your current uh, one-year target on Infosys based on this solid guidance that they've given? What would you change it to? Uh, 